Hi everyone, and welcome along today. Now, I guess you're probably wondering what the hell this is. Yeah, so yesterday I had to go in and have a basal cancer removed from the side of my face. Yeah, it wasn't that good really. Bit sore, bit sore this morning, but not too bad. Uh, another cancer lump up here. I've had to have a biopsy on, uh, waiting for the results that one. Let's keep our fingers crossed, okay? <laughs> so what's this video about? Well, you know, what you do when you're younger, I've come to the conclusion, really does have an effect later on in your life. Now, how many of us actually put sun cream on our face, you know, the, the lotion? A good factor, 16 or more. Uh, not many of us. I mean, when you're on the beach, you go down, you plaster it all over, and then probably uh, what well, you do do your face, I mean I would do mine. And uh, maybe on a sunny hot day when you know it's going to be a sunny hot day you do put it on. But what about these days when you may go out and it's cloudy in the morning and then the sun comes up in the afternoon, you haven't got anything on have you? I mean me, back in the day, uh, face, I never put anything on there, you just think tough, hardened skin, it's meant to be out in the sunshine, no problem, nothing will happen there. And I'm not saying maybe the sun is responsible for this cancer. I know people do get cancerous lumps, uh, even nothing to do with the sun. It's not definitely proven, but we do know that it's more than likely. So, what to do? Obviously, be very careful. If you've got a certain skin type, it's more prone than others. Mine is one of those prone to, although I go brown pretty quickly in the sun, obviously that didn't help me in the long run here. So a little warning about when you're younger, what you do does come back. One other thing, me and Jan, when we were younger, a lot younger, I had a little blue sports car, lovely little MG midget, lovely little thing, I had a soft top on it, and the soft top didn't quite fit properly around the window, so where the windows went up there was a little gap and it kind of blasted a, a piece of air through onto this shoulder and obviously Jan on the other side, the passenger side, she got it on the left shoulder. So we had this car for two or three years, no problem. We got into our 40s and suddenly realised both of us that we were suffering from the same pain in our shoulders, me on the right and Jan on the left. Now obviously it got into this shoulder and when it's a really cold damp day this thing plays up and then, oh, you know so another little example of things you do younger coming back so be very careful so it's just a little one for me because i'm sure you wonder where i've been for a little while i've uh, not been too good but uh hopefully we'll be back doing some more videos on plumbing and heating as uh, soon as this goes down a bit i'm afraid you'll have to pull up with a little bit of a scar now um you can call me scar face owl if you like it's all right <laughs> it's no problem i no worries about my looks uh, some women prefer a man with a scar on the face it looks a bit more you know masculine or whatever you know a nice scar <laughs> perhaps perhaps not me anyway <laughs> that's all just a little one let you know where i've been and what's been happening i know it's a bit more of a blog rather than a, a video that does uh, anything as far as plumbing and eating is concerned but just to let you know the latest happenings in Al's household okay that's it see you again next time all the best bye bye